What's up awesome people? This is Josh and welcome to just a fresh video. Super duper excited to be here in this particular video because I'm going to actually answer a huge question that most of your digital marketing clients are going to ask you when you go ahead and tell them like this is something that you're going to charge them to create. They'll be like, oh, why do we really need it? So this video would answer that and the question is, why do I need landing pages when I already have a website? So let's jump right into the video and roll the intro. Point number one, guys, it's super simple, super explanatory, and the point number one is landing pages are to the point, whereas website is very descriptive and tells you everything in detail. Landing pages are, this is what we do, this is how we're gonna help you, boom, put in your information, boom, done, right? So landing pages are to the point, tells you what is a selling thing, what are we selling, what are we trying to sell you, what is the information that we need from you, boom, bam, finish, right? Ready for that. Websites, in the, on the other hand, are more description. You have tons of tabs, you have so much going on, you have gallery and the information and when we started the history and the biography and the biology and all the stuff of your company. So website covers that, landing page is to the point. We got this, we got this, this is how this software is gonna help you. All the things are there, descriptions, how, how to install it, how to run it, uh, ROIs, ROAS, things of whatever you're trying to do. So if it's a real estate website, you'll be like, this is a property, these many bedrooms, this is many um, offices, this much uh, square footage, la la la. Put in your information, boom, done, ready, right? So one or two pages explains the whole process, where to go. Website tells you how this real estate company is so good, tells you how much experience they have, so much more in detail compared to this. This has like a good five to six sections. This have good at least seven to eight pages. Pages compared to sections. Landing pages is small, short, to the point, website descriptive, too much data going on. Number two, point number two is very, very, important to a marketer. To me, one of my most important reasons why I want to do a landing page is because if my ad talks about a discount, I want to take them to a landing page which talks about a discount. If my ad talks about how much value it gives you, I want to take them to a landing page where it defines value. If my ad talks about how four out of five CEOs do this, I want to take them to a CEO landing page even if the product is generic. Say I'm selling a camera and I'm trying to say how YouTube creators are using this specific camera, then I'm going to take them to a page where it is more YouTube centric. Now if my ad is talking about how um, say some or an architect is using this camera, I'm going to take them to a landing page where it talks about the architect. Because our ad and the detailed targeting audience needs to see the landing page with those factors in it. And you can only do that into a landing page, but in a website, it's more generic, more detailed, so much going on, it's gonna hold more the vision of the company. So what is the vision of the company? We make amazing, spectacular cameras, high megapixels, high this, high that, fast shutter speed, all that good stuff into the website. Instead, on this, we make it more about the customer over here, it makes it more about the product. Both are necessary, but when I'm targeting you as a client and I'm trying to sell you this camera, I want you to come to this page because this would be like, oh, ad check. I like the ad, I click on the ad, and then okay, I like the product, I wanna maybe go ahead with the product, how does it help me? The landing page can do it. You can make different variations and answer different targeted audiences, but with a website, you can kinda stick with one website. With landing pages, you could A-B test them. So that's the second point. It can be actually tailored around the audience, the person whom you're targeting. Compared to a website, it kinda stays static and does, is not too dynamic compared to who's clicking on it. Third reason why landing pages are super different from websites, though there are still pages or websites, landing pages want you to take an action. Landing pages are more like, hey, look, this, 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 six, six sections, go ahead. Put in your information, we'll contact you and give you this information. Boom, 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 boom. Now add to cart purchases and you're gonna like this product. Boom, 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 boom. Call us right now so you could get this offer. Boom, 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 information, action. Information, action. Website, information, learn it. Information right there for you. So what a website does, it tells you more about the product, tells you more about the details about it. Oh, this is here, this is here. We also do this, we've done this in the past. This is. The main goal of a website is to provide more information, landing page, 
is for you to take an action. More call to action buttons are on this. Yes, you have lead forms, you have add to carts and things of that nature, but they transition into a oh, selling website later. So if it's an e-commerce website, it'll be a little different, but when you're talking lead gen, this is gonna be specifically targeted. This happens more with organic searches. These websites happen more with organic searches and uh, landing pages happen more with targeted audience. So it's a huge difference. Fourth and the last point that I've kind of touched upon in my second point is the dynamic nature of landing pages. Your landing pages are very, very centric as to what audience you're showing it to. So you could do different things. So if you're trying to show more creativity, you could do it. You want to keep it simple because you're trying to show it to someone who's over a particular age, 65 and plus, they're going to need this insurance policy. You want to make it simple. It's an autofocus form. So automatically you could type, fix up information or give them a phone number to track. Whereas on a website, you can't do all of that because you don't know who is exactly you have six different products you have health insurance life insurance and say car insurance now you have three different sections people can get lost while they're digging information whereas in landing pages you could send them to a specific page like okay i'm just trying to sell you this landing page uh, there's a uh, life insurance so life insurance is gonna have oh i need one your name second your date of birth three if you smoke or not things of that nature boom ready to go i'm gonna pick up that information send it to my lead gen guy he's gonna be like okay i'm gonna run it out call you try to set it up now if it's someone who's 22 years old and you're trying to target that we probably don't want someone to call them we want them to come complete up all the process because life insurance we want them to kind of like swing by quicker we don't want to spend too much time with them on the phone because really the premium is going to be low they're really not going to be using it too much we probably be able to roll things up faster compared to someone who's 65 and looking for life insurance so what it does the things that it traveled through the processes that you could attach to a landing page are very much different from what you do with a website because anybody on that website could be coming in but these are not actually the landing pages are not sending traffic or every kind of person is not going to see that landing page very specific targeted audiences get to see the landing page so we could attach different processes to it websites we can't so a few softwares that I personally use to create landing pages. Number one is Webflow. I love how Webflow is. It's a little bit, it's not very intuitive. It's got too much going on, but you could do so much with it. It's got forms, it's got built-in HTML, you could design and you could do so much with it. So Webflow is one of my favorite ones. This is the one that we charge the most when we give it to our clients. Second that we use is Instapages. Instapages is a very good software itself. Uh, when I have to create landing pages quick, like I need it, Instapage. I jump onto Instapage and we run landing pages on Instapage first, throw some information out there, start running ads, and while the ads are running, we work on Webflow projects, and then boom, set it up on Webflow and transition out if you have to. A third, but we don't use it too much, is Unbounce. Instapage is fast, Webflow is a little slow, Instapage is right in the middle, uh, I mean, uh, Unbounce is right in the middle, so we use Unbounce sometimes here and there, but not something that we have to rely on. We also use Shopify to build up carts. So say if we have a landing page, it has to go into some selling part. So any shopping carts, we use Shopify for that. And all the affiliate links are in the description. If you use that, it supports our video, it supports the channel. And that's about it. So if you have any questions about landing pages and some softwares that you guys specifically use, go ahead and go into the comment section and tell us what softwares you use for your landing pages. And it was great creating this video. If this video is helpful, go ahead and give that like button a chime. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye.